Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia was born on the 18th of June, 1901. Disappointment at her birth was not hidden by anyone. Anastasia's mother, Alex of Hesse, or Alexandra Fedorovna, was devastated. Anastasia's father, Nicholas, could not hide his disappointment any longer and went for a long walk before visiting his newborn daughter for the first time. Anastasia and her siblings were raised as simply as possible. They all slept on camp beds with pillows and took cold showers in the morning. Anastasia resembled her mother's side of the family more than her father's side. She was not as tall as her other sisters and she was way less concerned about her appearance. Often she would eat food in public with her gloves still on. Out of all of her siblings, Anastasia was the most energetic. She would often climb trees and refuse to come down. The Grand Duchess did not follow rules and would often make witty remarks that could hurt people. Her pranks were well known in court. Most of the time they were funny, but sometimes they went too far. One time, when it was snowing, Anastasia rolled a rock into a snowball and threw it at her sister Tatiana, knocking her to the ground. Anastasia wasn't always in good health. She suffered from painful bunions and had a weak back muscle. Anastasia and her older sister Maria were known as the little pair and were very close to each other. Their older sisters, Olga and Tatiana, were known as the big pair. During the First World War, Anastasia and her older sister Maria were too young to work as nurses, but they helped in their own way. They spent much of their time in hospitals, visiting wounded soldiers, chatting with them and playing with them. In 1917, revolution broke out and Anastasia's father was forced to abdicate. Following this, the whole family was put under house arrest. The house arrest took its toll on Anastasia, but she tried to find ways to entertain herself in her last few months of life. The sisters would often perform plays for their parents to keep them entertained. Anastasia's performances would always make everyone laugh. Like her sister Maria, Anastasia was friendly with the guards. One guard described her as charming and mischievous while another commented that she was prone to making provocative comments that caused tension. On the 16th of July 1918, the guards woke the family during the night and told them to get dressed under the pretext that they would be moved to another place. The family were then led into the basement where they waited for 30 minutes. Shortly after midnight on the 17th of July, 1918, Yakov Yurovsky, the chief executioner, entered the basement with a few guards. He read them their death sentences. The siblings' parents were killed first, along with the two servants that were there with them. All of the siblings survived the first hail of bullets, but Anastasia and Maria witnessed the murders of their sisters, Olga and Tatiana, and their brother, Alexei. Anastasia and Maria were the last members of their family alive and were crouched up against a wall covering their heads. What happened next is not clear. Either Maria, Anastasia or both of them awoke while their bodies were being carried out onto a truck. Upon discovering that they were alive, the guards then silenced them. Anastasia might be the most famous out of the four grand duchesses for her alleged survival due to the fact that none of their bodies were found for many decades. It led to many false survival claims being brought up. A woman named Anna Anderson might be the most famous imposter of all. She appeared in 1920 and claimed that she was Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna. She reported that she survived the execution and was still breathing while being carried out. A guard noticed this and took sympathy upon her. Several members of the family and people that knew Anastasia well visited the imposter. Most of them agreed that she was definitely not Anastasia. She fought until 1970 to be recognised as the Grand Duchess, until the court decided that Anderson did not provide enough proof to claim the identity of Anastasia. Anderson died in 1984, and with DNA testing made available years later, it was revealed that she was in fact not Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna, but a Polish factory worker whose real name was Franciska Szanskowska. Eventually, the bodies of the family were discovered. 
the bodies of Maria and Anastasia could not be identified. Some experts claimed one of the bodies was Maria and the other was Anastasia, while others said the opposite. Up until this day, it is still uncertain which body belongs to Anastasia and which one belongs to her sister Maria. The body of Alexei and one of his sisters, the two bodies found in 2007, are still awaiting their burial. In 2000, Anastasia and her family were canonised as passion bearers by the Russian Orthodox Church. Earlier in 1991, the family were canonised by the Russian Orthodox Church abroad as holy martyrs.